It was six years ago this month I stood in this very spot and introduced my sixth product I ever reviewed in this channel, the Star Shower Motion. Star Shower Motion is the holiday laser light display. This was a holiday light product that was very popular back then. So I recently saw an infomercial for a product called the Star Shower Ultra 9, which I thought, wow, that looks a lot like the one I reviewed six years ago. I wonder how similar they really are. So I picked it up for myself and I'm gonna find out how similar or different these really are in today's video. Before I get started, I wanted to say thank you to a lot of my longtime viewers, some of whom have been around since that six video six years ago. I do appreciate those of you who have been watching week in and week out for all this time. And if you're new to my channel, I appreciate you too. But you may not be as familiar with my channel as uh, some long-term viewers are. If you're not, I do review products. Uh, I've done everything from dollar store gadgets to expensive hotel rooms, but my specialty is ASEAN TV products, like the Star Shower Ultra 9. And I don't take sponsorships. You won't see a paid promotion or a sponsored video. It ain't gonna happen. I give you my honest opinion and I pay for these products with my own money. And I'm also always giving away stuff, so there's a link below. Click on that if you want to enter my latest giveaway. I don't spam you with email. But let's get back to the video, shall we? Now, both the Star Shower Motion and the Star Shower Ultra 9 are holiday laser lights. They can be projected on the side of your house or indoors if you have a base, and I'll talk about that a little later. Both of them have a sensor, so they will turn off when it gets light and turn back on when it gets dark, which is kind of a convenient feature. You kind of a set it and forget it type thing. The farther away you move them from your house, the wider the area that it projects. Now, the Star Shower Motion was very popular back in 2016. In fact, in 2017, they came out with three more Star Showers. The Star Shower Laser Light, the Star Shower Laser Magic, and the Star Shower Window Wonderland. And I can compare all those back then. I will link that video in the description below. But with all the preliminaries out of the way, let's get to the Star Shower Ultra 9 and see how it compares to the 2016 Star Shower Motion. All right, let's take a look at the Star Shower Ultra 9. In fact, let's compare it to the original Star Shower Motion Laser Light, because it looks like the Ultra 9 is kind of just a new version of this one. So let's take a look at them side by side. The box is certainly smaller for the new one. The packaging looks very similar. You've got the red and green part here. No ladders, no hanging, no dead bulbs there. Got the very similar logo up here. Got the bulb head branding at top. Let's crack the new one open and take a closer look. All right, well, this is green. Uh, the original was blue. Got some instructions here. I'll read those over. The overall housing is the same, but it is a different color. If you don't recall my 2016 review, let's check this one out. I got a base in my original. I don't see a base here. All I see is a stake for the backyard. Oh yeah, the packaging just says lawn stake. There's no base for indoors. Well, that's not good. See, the original Star Shower had a lawn stake and indoor base. This one just has a lawn stake. They look pretty similar. The original had a big button on top, which this one does not. They moved the button back here. The original Star Shower Motion, uh, it only really had two modes. You just had stop or start. And you can also change it to just green or red and green. Just like the original is a very short cord. It looks like maybe 12 inches, very short. And on this one, all you have is a single button for all your operation. Uh, this has been advertised on infomercials. Uh, it's available from Bullpit website and also in as seen on TV stores, which is where I got mine. These sell for about 30 to 35 bucks. Let's plug it in and shine on the wall. We'll just take a look at the patterns before I take it outside. On the left-hand side of my wall, I've got the original Star Shower Motion. Now that's actually red and green. The green is very dim. It looks like it's kind of almost burnt out, but this is the motion setting for the original Star Shower Motion. Let's do the new Ultra 9 right next to it and see what difference we see here. The first thing you notice is much brighter. There seems to be more lights even. Maybe that's just an optical illusion because the, the other one's so dim. But as you can see, the right-hand side is the Ultra 9. Left-hand side is 2016 Star Shower Motion, which has very dim green lights. But otherwise, the pattern looks pretty much the same. I don't see much of a difference. So the options for the original, you have motion with both colors, motion with just green, stopped with both colors and stopped with just green. That's all that you have. So you have four choices. They did not have a red only option back then, which a lot of people didn't like. Now with the new Ultra 9, let's see what we got. We've got the, we have, not, we have nine configurations. So we have red and green motion, red and green stopped, red and green blinking. Then we have just green motion, just green stopped, and just green and blinking. The next up we have just red motion, just red stopped, just red blinking, and then we're off. So I think this is what most people are gonna use 
which looks an awful lot like the one they could have got six years ago. But let me take these outside to the backyard of my house and see how much uh, of the house I can actually cover with these. You know what's weird is also the, the green on the Star Shower Motion cinema is getting brighter. Maybe it just needs to warm up a little bit. That's weird. It was almost completely invisible before, now I can see the green. Very strange. All right, let's head outside and see what we got. Blah. All right, so this is my setup now. Bailey's over here helping me. Star Shower 2016 on the left, the new Star Shower Ultra 9 on the right. I had to use a stake for the new one. For the old one, I used the base. But we'll shine these in the house tonight and see what kind of a difference they make. Dogs are very curious about this. They don't know what this is in the yard. I was just setting these up to test out tonight and I noticed that the Star Shower Ultra 9's already come on. It's not even that dark out here. The original Star Shower Motion, not on. Let me try shining a light in there and see if it turns off. Ah, it did go off. Okay, so it is sensitive to light. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how they do when it's completely dark. All right, let's take a look what we got here now. I've got the Star Shower Ultra 9 going right now. This is the first setting. This is the red and green plus motion. And it looks pretty familiar. It looks like uh, the original Star Shower motion from 2016. Let me cycle through all the modes, then I'll switch over to the original Star Shower and see what the difference is. Here we are, just red and green paused. This is the red and green blinking. I'm not a fan of the blinking. Some people might like it, I don't. Here's just green motion. That looks nice. Pretty good, I think. Notice when you go to touch it, it just shakes around a lot here. All right, green paused, not bad. Green blinking. All right, here is just the red motion. Red motion. Red paused. I should point out that it does cover about the width of my house. I'm 36 feet away from the back of my house. And this is the, by the way, this is the red blinking. Let me go back to the main one now. This is, this is 36 feet from the back of my house and it is covering about the entire width of it, so it's pretty good. It's pretty bright. It looks just like the original one. In fact, let's fire up the original and see how that looks. All right, this is the original 2016 Star Shower. Earlier, the green kind of didn't show up, but the green looks perfectly fine right now. I guess it just has to warm up. They did say if it's cold that sometimes it takes a while to reach this full brightness. I guess that might have been the case here. And really, the width looks about the same, the pattern looks about the same. You can do just green on the original Star Shower, or you can do red and green. And on this one, you can pretty much pause it, and that's it. It's going to both at the same time. Whoa. The new one is certainly brighter than the old one. I will say that. I'm going to try this side by side here. This is the original Star Shower Motion from 2016 on its motion setting. I'm going to split the screen. I'm going to show on the right side, I'm going to show the new one, and we'll take a look at how they compare. All right, and this is the Star Shower Ultra 9, brand new, just out of the box today. One thing I noticed is it seems like the green is a little more prominent on the dual mode. It seems like green is a little more prominent. I could be wrong. But how do they compare? It looks like they're pretty similar. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually leave this out all night. And I'm gonna come out first thing in the morning and I'm gonna see if it's still running in the dark. And if it is, I'll see if it goes off when the sun comes up. So I'll come back tomorrow morning, see if it's still running, and see if it goes off when the sun comes out. All right, the sun is coming up. Let's see who we got. It's uh, about 6 a.m. It is still going, and it's still shining on the house, although not quite as impressive when the sun's coming up. All right, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this and see if it does, in fact, go off when the sun comes up. Really, the sun's out and and it did go off it does work as it's supposed to so i'm happy about that what do you think bailey see a lizard all right so i've got some good news and some bad news about this star shower ultra 9 mostly good news though but let's start with the bad news the first thing i would say as far as bad news goes is that it doesn't come with an indoor stand which i really liked with the original star shower motion i don't know why they would leave that out that seems like a pretty big oversight to me the other slightly bad news is that it's not very different from the original so if you have that one there's really not a big reason to upgrade unless you really want just red or if you want a blinking mode but let's talk about the good news now 
there is some good news about this. I would say it definitely is an improvement over the original. A very small improvement, but an improvement nonetheless. I think it works very well. It works as advertised. It turns on when it's dark. It turns off when it's light. My original one still works, so these are pretty well made. If you're looking for something like this, I would definitely go with this one over the original, unless you want to view it inside. They didn't have a stand, so if you want to use it indoors, you might want to look at the original. The original still being sold at StarShowerMotion.com. That's not a sponsor shout out. That's just where you can find it. I think you can also find it in stores like Lowe's and Walmart as well. But that's all I've got. If you've used any of these Star Shower products, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. I wonder if I can redo that intro. Star, Star Shower Motion, Motion is, is the, the holiday laser, laser light display, display features that features moving, moving laser, laser lights, lights on, on the side, side of your house. house. Is that close? I don't know.